Thanks for stopping by Island Time Travel as we share an extensive tour that includes everything you need to know before sailing on board the Carnival Vista. Let me take a second to introduce ourselves. We're Derek and Amanda Phillips, owners and operators of Island Time Travel. If you like to stay up to date on cruise news, ship tours, and experiences at sea, then become a member of this community by subscribing to this channel. Amanda and I are also top performing travel advisors that can assist you in planning your cruise vacation. We will lead you through each step of the planning process. Which cruise line is best for you? What ship to sail on? Perfect sail date, cabin selection, excursions at port, parking, hotel, and airfare. The best thing is you don't pay us a penny. We can help you plan your new cruise or even take over an existing reservation in many cases. See our email in the description of this video to contact us. The Carnival Vista was delivered on April 28, 2016 and has been selling out of Galveston, Texas since September 2018 by gross tonnage 133,596. The Carnival Vista was the largest ship within the Carnival fleet at her time of debut. She's headed to Port Canaveral near the end of 2023 to make room for the Carnival Jubilee in Galveston, Texas. As you may know, the Carnival Vista is the lead ship in her namesake class, which also includes two additional Carnival ships, the Carnival Horizon and Carnival Panorama. It also includes two Costa ships, the Costa Venezia and Costa Frenzy. The Costa sister ships are set to move into the Carnival brand and sail from the east and west coast. Check out our channel for exclusive content of the transatlantic Carnival Venetia selling that took place in May of 2023. The Carnival Vista is set for dry dock in January 2024 where she will be freshened up. She will receive her new livery and she will be ready for all of us to enjoy from Port Canaveral. Our tour today will consist of the public areas on the Carnival Vista. We'll exclude decks 1, 2, 8, and 9 as they only have passenger cabins on them. And with that, let's get started by going outside and enjoying some sunshine on board the Carnival Vista. Look at that. A view of Carnival Waterworks from Deck 15. Carnival Waterworks has two water slides and a splash pad, all kinds of games, and there are height requirements as you can see. Your kiddos must be potty trained in order to use the facilities. Enough of the splashing. Let's enter Serenity, Carnival's adult-only retreat that was designed for guests ages 21 and above. This area wraps around deck 15 forward of the ship. And as you can see, there are traditional lawn chairs, sunbathing loungers, clamshells, and even hammocks. The Vista features two hot tubs in Serenity, one on starboard side and the other on port side. These are oversized tubs that can fit easily a dozen people, but don't be surprised if you see 18 people in these hot tubs. Do you feel the Caribbean sun? Can you feel it yet? It's warm, it feels good, but that means we're thirsty. As they say, don't worry about a thing. Serenity Bar is right here to serve both you and I as we enjoy our day at sea. You can see the oversized bar has seating area, usually multiple bartenders, even salad bar over there to the right. Guests can choose to belly up to the bar and enjoy a drink or stay just where you're at in your clamshell and a bartender will come to you and serve you both alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks you can use your cheers package or bottomless bubbles at this bar. Serenity is open from daylight until late at night. 
Carnival Fun Squad also host events up here sometimes at night. One of the things we love best about Serenity is that oftentimes you see the same faces over and over each day. You get to know people and they become a community. You get to be quiet, rest and relax, read a book, listen to music, take a nap. It's absolutely your choice. That concludes our tour of Serenity. Could you see you and your group enjoying some time in this area? Share your thoughts on the space in the comment section below. How about that view of the Carnival Dream in Cozumel, Mexico? Have any of you sailed on the Carnival Dream and or been to Cozumel, Mexico? We so enjoyed Paradise Beach today and are enjoying taking you around the ship and showing you the ship as she is quiet and people are waiting to come back this afternoon. Do you need help with excursion ideas on your next cruise? Do you want to do something new, something better than what you've done before? Let us help you. Remember, when you book with Island Time Travel, you pay the same price, the same money, or maybe even cheaper that you paid with the cruise line. We will help with those excursion ideas. Find several options for you to choose from and always make sure that you stay safe in port. Let's head downstairs from deck 15 to deck 12 for more outside fun. Deck 14 forward includes cabins and spa areas. And as with most ships, there is no deck 13. Look at all the fun Carnival has to offer. The water slides, the splash pad, the bucket stepping water, all look like so much fun. You do not have to be a child to enjoy the water park. Adults can ride the water slides as well. If you're like me, you can never pass up an opportunity to see Lido Deck. Look at this view and have you ever seen a Lido Deck so empty in the middle of the day? Like I mentioned, we're in Cozumel, and most people are still off of the ship. They will be on board soon, but I love to pause, take a second, take it in. There are some guests who never got off the ship today. We enjoy staying on board at some ports of call and enjoying what all the ship has to offer. Let me ask you this, Islanders, as we make our way around to midship. Have you ever stayed on board before and not got off the ship? Is there a particular port of call that you always stay on board for? What do you enjoy doing when you stay on board? Is it laying out in one of these loungers, enjoying some sun? Trying a new restaurant or food venue you haven't tried before? Do you go to the spa and get a massage or buy a day pass for the Thalassotherapy Pool in Steam Loungers. Let's continue walking down Deck 12 midship as we get closer to the Sports Square area. The walking, jogging track is in blue with yellow triangles. There's also lots of games, including foosball, pool, bago, mini golf, and many other games. All of these games are free for families to enjoy and are open during the daytime into late at night.
As we walk toward deck 12 aft, you will see the basketball court with netting around and above the court to keep the balls in. This venue also serves as a soccer field and you haven't played dodgeball until you've played dodgeball on a cruise ship. And yes, they have 18 plus adults only, no holds barred dodgeball. It's so much fun. It takes place on sea days. This venue is free for all to enjoy. Views upon views upon views. Let's go downstairs and explore Deck 11. The first thing I'll tell you is that the aft part of Deck 11 is reserved for those who like to smoke. You don't have to be smoking to sit or lay here, but keep in mind there may be passengers around you who are indeed smoking. There's another smoking section on the starboard side of the ship, Midship Deck 11. As we go indoors on Deck 11, you will find two restaurants that passengers can enjoy. Gigi's Asian Kitchen and Cucine del Capitano are both available for passengers to enjoy at lunch and at dinner. These two restaurants share a space. Both restaurants offer a free lunch where passengers can build their own pasta or stir fry. One of my best secrets is to visit these venues on embarkation day. It will look much like what you're going to see. Empty venues, lots of crew members ready to serve you, and delicious food. No wait and great service. Both restaurants do charge a small fee in the evening. Pricing continues to change, but currently they are $18 per person and offer a much larger menu in the evenings. Have you eaten at Gigi's or Cucine del Capitano? Would you choose Italian or stir fry? Let us know in the comment section below if you've eaten at one of these venues and what your favorite dish is at one of these restaurants. Let's go out the way we came in and head downstairs to the busiest deck on the ship, Lido Deck, Deck 10. Let's first go outside to the aft part of the ship and visit Tides Bar. What a sight to see as you step outside to enjoy some sun and go for a swim. This bar offers both non-alcoholic and alcoholic drinks, and you can use your cheers package or bottomless bubbles. Belly up to the bar and enjoy a drink or stay just where you are. Bar service will come to you. May I ask, what is a carnival cruise without some pizza? Pizzeria del Capitano is located on deck 10 aft port side. This pizzeria used to be 24-7, but now closes for a small window in the early morning hours. When open, this venue is free and included in the cost of your cruise fare. Many people don't know this, but you can order drinks from the Pizzeria del Capitano late at night. That's exactly what I wanted right there, a pepperoni pizza. What would you order? Let's go ahead and take a look at the very aft part of the ship. 
of course, you were able to see a pool and two hot tubs on each side. The very back of the ship is always one of my favorite places to visit, to be still and reflect. I try to take the opportunity to do that each cruise. What's your favorite part of a cruise ship? Let us know in the comment section below. It's always interesting to see if people prefer to lay out and lounge in the aft part of the ship around the pool or midship around the main pool. Some people like the quieter setting. Some people like to see the aft part of the ship and the wake as we continue to move. Some people love the music and games and energy that comes with Lido Deck midship. Let me ask you this, on a sea day, where are you sitting? We're approaching the starboard side of the ship in a specialty venue called Seafood Shack. This specialty venue is open on both port and sea days, but costs extra any time it is open. What's on the menu? Guests can enjoy everything from soups, pill and eat shrimp, fried seafood, crab legs, and more. Simply place your order and a crew member will give you a buzzer to come back and retrieve it when it is ready. Keep in mind an 18% gratuity is added to your bill. Let's go inside for a little bit and explore the Lido Deck Marketplace, your one-stop shop for all the food and drinks you'll ever want and need. Drink stations are located both in the aft and mid sections of the ship. Remember that tea, water, and lemonade are included in the cost of your cruise fare. Buffet stations are set up in both the aft and mid ship, port and starboard side. These venues are covered by the cost of your cruise and are open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner and offer a variety of foods. The food selection on the buffet changes every single day, so if you see something you don't like, that's okay. Wait until tomorrow and there will be di something different on the buffet. Another one of my best kept secrets is visiting the deli on deck 10 aft. You can see by their menu they offer hot and cold sandwiches for everyone to enjoy. Don't know what to order? Try the number 5. The Cuban is one of my favorite dishes on board. Notice this venue is great for kids as well as they serve hot dogs, grilled cheese and fries as a side. They're good for the little ones. Have an upset stomach or someone feeling seasick? Stop by the deli and ask for some pickles or pickle juice. That will help. While some of you are eating your healthy wraps, just turn around and see all the desserts to enjoy at the sweet spot. These sweet treats are also complimentary for you to eat and are available at lunch and dinner. Let's head towards midship and see what else there is to offer. Here you'll see another buffet set up midship as we mentioned earlier. One of our favorite traditions is to get gelato at lunch and all the toppings that go along with it. Don't like gelato? Don't worry, the ice cream machines are right here as well and offer different flavors each day. Keep in mind these machines do close at midnight. Let me just take a second and ask, do you like what you see so far? I think that answer is yes if you've made it this far. But I want to remind you, if you're looking for help for booking and planning your next cruise, be sure you reach out to us, travel at bookislandtime.com. 
Let's go back outside and see the beach pool. You'll see one of Carnival's most popular venues on board, Guy's Burger Joint. This burger joint is among the favorite among passengers and some even claim that Guy's Burger Joint has the best burgers they've ever had. This venue is open on both port days and sea days and is a Carnival passenger's favorite. There's a menu to order from and don't be afraid to ask for a second patty or even extra fries. The toppings bar is just behind the venue and offers all sorts of toppings and sauces for you to enjoy. Best of all, it's included in your cruise fare. It's open for lunch and closes at 6 p.m. Keep that in mind as you are off the ship and you're hungry at four or five. Do you want to spend the money off board and eat something local or wait till you get back on board and enjoy a guy's burger? I hope you're enjoying this ship tour of the Carnival Vista and you're having fun planning your next trip. Remember that Amanda and I are here for you to help you book your next trip. I've got to say, I love how close and how many food venues the Carnival Vista offers so close to the Lido Deck Pool. Do you enjoy some time on Lido Deck? Do you enjoy hitting up one of these close venues for a quick refuel before you go back and lay out in the sun again or go swim? How many hours a day do you spend enjoying this pool midship on Lido Deck? Let us know in the comment section below. On the port side of Lido Deck is another free venue offered by Carnival. Blue Iguana Cantina offers both breakfast burritos in the mornings and lunch options as well. Guests can choose their toppings and create a burrito at lunch. They can create a salad in a bowl or can build their own tacos. For extra flavor, visit the salsa bar nearby for extra toppings, uh, lots of different types of sauces and sauces and it is included at no additional charge. Okay, we all know that after all this food, we're going to need something to drink. And luckily for us, Carnival offers two bars for us to enjoy right here at the Lido Deck Pool location. Blue Iguana Tequila Bar and the Red Frog Rum Bar are open and have diverse selections for drinks. Both locations are open early in the morning until late at night. Guests can order alcoholic and non-alcoholic beverages and can use their cheers package or bottomless bubbles at these bars. Let me take a second and ask, if you're standing, sitting, or laying here on the Lido deck, what's your drink of choice? What are you sipping on? Where are you sitting on Lido? Here's yet another cruise tip for all you Islanders. Grab your food on embarkation day at one of these venues and come sit at the Red Frog Rum Bar. It's so much fun to people watch. As people come outside for the first time, they just got on the ship, and you can see their reactions on their faces. You can see them taking pictures. It is one of my favorite times and places to people watch.
We've shared a ton of outdoor spaces with you. Now let's transition and go indoors to share some things with you. I think it's safe to say that many of us enjoy spending time outside, but in reality, over the course of five, six, or seven days, we can't spend all of our time inside. It's important to look at what amenities and venues are offered indoors when planning your cruise. Islanders, we're now on deck six. You may ask, how did you go from deck 10 to deck six? Keep in mind, deck seven, eight, and nine are all passenger cabins. With that, let's check out the arcade known as the warehouse on Carnival Ships. Passengers use their sell and sign card to play their game of choice. Game prices range from $1.50 to $5 per play depending on the game. Players win virtual tickets that can be redeemed for prizes throughout the cruise. Much like the casino, the warehouse is not open when in port, but is open when at sea. This is a very popular place to take kiddos, but don't be surprised when you see adults in here as well. Everyone likes to have fun. Now let's take a look at the first ever IMAX at sea. You heard that right, a movie theater on a cruise ship. The Carnival Vista IMAX shows first release movies during your cruise. You will see movies on the ship that literally are playing at your local movie theater. It is an additional cost, but movie tickets are oftentimes the same price that you would see on land. And you're probably thinking there's no way the theater is that big. Let's take a look at this movie theater. It is huge. The screen has great graphics. The audio also sounds well. And yes, they have popcorn for you to munch on while you're watching your favorite movie. Let's continue checking out these indoor spaces and head down to deck five, one of the most popular places on board. First, let's take a look at the main theater on the Carnival Vista. Liquid Lounge is located on decks four and five forward. This theater is home to many of the nightly production shows. Bingo, Deal or No Deal, The Love and Marriage Show, and host many other events during the week. Seating is first come, first serve on Carnival, so there is no opportunity, no way to reserve seating prior to your events. 
All of Carnival's shows are free, but some events such as Bingo and Deal or No Deal does cost additional money. Let's now step outside of Liquid Lounge and head toward the Fun Shops midship. This area includes several shops that offer jewelry, purses, watches, and the Carnival store that has Carnival branded items. You will also see Cherry on Top, which has candy for sale by the ounce and other gifts for passengers and people at home. Guests may use their sign and sell card to purchase items from these shops. They are closed on port days and open on sea days from early morning until late at night. As we continue walking, you can now see that we're approaching the Seascape Carnival's Lobby and Atrium area on decks 3, 4, and 5. The Seascape changes patterns and colors every few minutes and really is the first thing that you see when you walk on board. Passengers board the ship on deck three and it's always fun to walk on board and see passengers as they look up the dreamscape and the lobby, your home for the next seven days. Making our way midship, you'll see two venues on the left and right. On the starboard side is Piano Bar 88, and on the port side is the Library Bar. Passengers can enjoy live music at the Piano Bar almost every night, from requesting songs to sing along to cold drinks. It's a place for everyone. Your Cheers package works at this venue. Across the hall is the Library Bar, one of the quietest places on the ship. Most people don't know this, but you can borrow books and games for free from the library. You can also sip on a glass of wine that comes from a, from a self-serve machine. There's tables and chairs available for those that need to work or just a quiet place to sit. And I've found that the internet is oftentimes much faster at this venue. Next up is a very popular and busy part of the ship. Fahrenheit 555 is Carnival's exclusive steakhouse. It's best to reserve your dining experience ahead of time as this venue tends to book up quick and even sell out. Current cost per person is $42, but is well worth the price. One of our best tips is to book the steakhouse for the first evening and you'll receive a free bottle of wine, white or red. We also love this tip. Visit the Steakhouse Bar as they have select wines, whiskeys, and etc. that are not found anywhere else on board. You do not 
have to have reservations at the steakhouse in order to visit the steakhouse bar and you can use your cheers package for your drinks. Next up is a fan favorite and maybe one of the most popular venues on board, the Alchemy Bar. If you love high-end creative cocktails, this is the place for you. Alchemy bartenders, also known as alchemists, prescribe you a concoction to help with any of your ailments. The bar is open from 4 or 5 p.m. until late in the evening, usually until midnight, and allows you to use your beverage package. Let me ask you, Islanders, what is your favorite drink at Alchemy? And do you have a favorite alchemist? Next up in this busy corridor is Bonsai Sushi. This specialty restaurant is an additional cost, but they have many items under $10. You use your sign and sell card to pay for your meal, and your cheers package works at this venue. Want another tip? Visit Bonsai Sushi late at night. They are open until midnight and all day on sea days. As we continue walking towards the aft part of the ship, we're approaching Pixel's Photo Gallery, a place for cruisers to purchase pictures to take home. The Vista allows guests to type in their folio number and see all pictures that they have taken of you. You can choose to have them printed off traditionally or receive a digital copy. Our next venue is a staple on Carnival ships, the Red Frog Pub. This venue offers so much for cruisers, a place to sit and play games, a place for cold drinks, a place to watch sports, a place to do a brewery tour, a place to listen to live music, a place to karaoke, and is the place to go on embarkation day for cheap drinks. Be sure to ask for the Caribbean iced tea. You can get a fish bowl or a pitcher depending on the ship. The pub is open usually just before lunch and stays open until late at night. Passengers can use their cheers package to pay for non-alcoholic and alcoholic drinks. Let me just take a second and ask, do you like what you see so far? I think that answer is yes, if you've made it this far. But I want to remind you, if you're looking for help, for booking and planning your next cruise, be sure you reach out to us, travel at bookislandtime.com. Let's swing around the corner to share Java Blue with you. This venue offers specialty coffees and milkshakes along with sweets that are outstanding and cost a little bit extra. Remember, milkshakes and coffee are included in the price of your cheers package. We also enjoy getting muscle milk, Trulies, Gatorades, and other non-alcoholic drinks as well. Islanders, let's step outside and visit some of the outdoor spaces. All of the restaurants that operate indoors also have outdoor sitting. In addition, Guy's Pig and Anchor Barbecue is available on embarkation day and sea days. It is included in the price of your cruise fare and offers several types of meat and delicious sides and sauces. It is open for lunch only. Let me just take a second and ask, do you like what you see so far? I think that answer is yes, if you've made it this far. But I want to remind you, if you're looking for help for booking and planning your next cruise, be sure you reach out to us, travel at bookislandtime.com. Back inside, you will see the Ocean Plaza Bar. 
This bar services those who are sitting and enjoying events in Ocean Plaza. Keep in mind it's close to Java Blue, which offers coffee, but this bar, Ocean Plaza Bar, also has a coffee machine that can make specialty coffees for you. If the line is long at Java Blue, walk 40 feet away and enjoy the same specialty coffee with a less wait time. Deck 5 Aft is a lovely venue, the Havana Bar. The Havana Bar is open to all who need to quench their thirst or hear some upbeat music. Oftentimes, karaoke is held in this venue during the day. At night, this place comes alive with very upbeat Latin music. This bar is open during the day and night to quench your thirst. Your cheers package can be used for alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. You may have heard of Havana Cabanas. There's an outdoor space beyond this bar that is reserved for those who are staying in Havana cabins. Guests not staying in a Havana cabin will not be able to go through these doors. Islanders, are you looking for an upscale, high-end experience? Let's book you a Havana cabin that will give you access to the Havana outdoor area. This outdoor area includes a pool, two hot tubs, seating, loungers, chairs, day beds, two huts, a bar for you to enjoy. Passengers who book Havana accommodations will receive a wristband that must be worn at all times in order to enter this area. Amanda and I have stayed in a Havana cabin several times and always enjoyed the fact that you can always find a lounge chair. There's always a place for you in the pool or hot tub and some of the best service that you will receive on the ship is right here in the Havana area. Have you stayed in a Havana cabin before? If so, do you agree with my summary of Havana? It changes your cruise experience. One of the things we love the most is that the people you meet here you meet every single day and get to know. It's a small group of 80 to 100 people. Oftentimes you add each other on Facebook and you leave as friends. I can say from personal experience, Mike, Michelle, Steve, Christy, and many others. We've met right here and now we're best friends. There are two dining rooms on board the Carnival Vista, the Horizons Restaurant, and the Reflections Restaurant. Both serve the same menu, but one is reserved for guests who have set dining times, while the other is reserved for those who choose any time dining. Both dining rooms are included in the cost of your cruise fare and allow passengers to order as many dishes as they would like to eat. Except for the lobster. You can only order two lobsters for free. Starting with the third, they will charge you $5 per tail. Limelight Lounge is a multi-use venue for passengers to enjoy. The most popular shows in this venue are the comedy shows that take place at night. Carnival will host both family-friendly and adult comedy shows that are 18 plus. These shows are free and included in the price of your cruise fare. No additional tickets are required. You cannot save seats. If you want to attend a comedy show, make sure that you're in line at least 30 minutes prior to showtime. This venue also converts into a nightclub. The nightclub is free and guests 18 and above are welcome here. Carnival also uses this venue for many other activities during the day.
Walking towards midship on deck four, you will see the art gallery, followed by the Skybox Sports Bar. This venue is free to enter, has many screens for sports, electronic gaming, and soon, hopefully, sports betting. This venue is open all day until late at night. Passengers can use their cheers package for alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. Continuing on towards midship is the Vista Casino. The casino is closed because we're currently at port but will open up soon. Passengers can enjoy both slot machines, table games, and other games of chance. There used to be a big bar in the casino. Now bartenders take your drink orders and fill them in crew only areas. You can see this casino is absolutely huge and if you spend any time at all playing in the casino, you probably will be offered free drinks while playing in the casino. You may be offered a specialty restaurant. You may receive gifts in your room. Thousand dollar cookies is a real thing. Chocolate covered strawberries. And if you play enough, you will start to receive casino offers. Islanders, as we walk around the casino, let me ask you this. What is your game of chance? Do you enjoy the slot machines? If so, which one in particular? Or do you like those table games? For me, I choose to roll the dice. Exiting the casino towards the forward part of the ship, we come across the atrium and once again, we see there are more stores selling makeup and alcohol that are found in this part of the ship, as well as venues where pictures can be taken in the evenings. One tip for alcohol, buy it the first day, embarkation day on board. There's a 10% off sale and it really is indeed the cheapest time to buy your alcohol and take back home with you.
Walking downstairs means we're finally on lobby deck, deck three. You will see Carnival Shore Excursions desk that's available for questions or to book excursions. If you're looking for the behind the fun tour, be sure to check out this desk as soon as you board the ship. There's also an internet station, and you will see as we walk across to the starboard side, guest services is there as well that can help you with any issue or any question that you have on board. You will also see, of course, the beautiful dreamscape and the lobby bar that's open all day and into the late night where passengers can enjoy different types of drink, live music, and you can use your cheers package for alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks at this bar. Wow, that's it. An almost hour long tour has flown by and I hope that you have enjoyed every second of it. I know you're trying to plan your cruise. You're trying to figure out is the Vista right for me and my family? Should I be looking at something else? There are so many options out there. The Vista is one of those options and it is one that you should consider. I hope this tour of the Carnival Vista has helped you in your decision-making process, but I want you to know that my help does not end with this video. If you're looking for someone to help plan and book your cruise, reach out to us, email us, travel at bookislandtime.com. The great thing about using a travel advisor such as Island Time Travel is you pay the price that you're already going to pay anyway online or by calling a 1-800 number. You pay the same price or sometimes even cheaper with Amanda and I, but you get excellent service. You get expert advice. We can help you plan and decide what ship to sell on, what excursions to do, what hotel to stay in, where to leave your car, and so much more. You'll have access to us via email and phone to help you at any time. And the great thing is, is you don't pay us a penny. We hope you enjoyed this video and we know that you'll be reaching out to us soon. Email us travel at bookislandtime.com.